Hi everyone, this is the functions review, math 30-1 functions review, and this is question 9. I'm going to perform the division and express the result uh, p over x, p of x over x minus a equals quotient plus remainder over x minus a. Okay, that's that's the form of the answer. This is the way they want us to write it. Now, we can do this, because it's just x minus 2, a very simple thing, we can use synthetic division, we can even use polynomial long division. And perhaps what I'll do is I'll, I'll do both here. Okay. Uh, Paul, we'll do synthetic division real quick. Uh, we're going to put a 2 up front here, okay? because I've, I've explained before that when I do the, the division here, I tend to change the, the sign on that, that second term, put that out front. My coefficients are 1, negative 5, negative 1, and 5. So bring down the 1, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, and add, and you're going to get negative 9 there. Now, this tells me that my remainder is negative 9, okay, and that the quotient that I get here is going to be x squared minus 3x minus 7. Okay, now let's try polynomial long division. Okay, so x minus 2. I already know what my answer should be, so we'll make this a big or here. So x cubed minus 5x squared minus x plus 5. With polynomial long division, what I want to do is always just eliminate the highest degree term. I don't really care about the what happens next. I will deal with that in the next step. But highest degree term here. So to get rid of an x cubed, I need to convert this x into an x cubed by multiplying it by x squared. So I'll multiply by x squared and I will get x squared. But remember, I have to distribute that. Sorry, I'm sorry, this becomes x cubed. I have to distribute that to both terms. So minus 2x squared. And then you'll subtract, and negative 5 minus negative 2 will be negative 3. Okay, notice notice the link. Whoops, sorry. Notice the link to the synthetic division. Okay, this is going to be x squared. Then I'm going to bring down the negative x and the positive 5. Now i got to get rid of the, the next highest degree term, which is this squared here. So to get rid of that, i got to multiply this x by negative 3x. I've got negative 3x squared. And then negative 3x times negative 2 will be negative, uh, sorry, positive 6x. And then I'll subtract the negative 3x squared to go away. Negative x minus 6x will be negative 7x. Bring down the positive 5. <coughs> and then I'll put a negative 7 there. And I got negative 7x uh, plus 14. But when I subtract, I will get negative 9. And so there we go. I'm getting the exact the exact same solution here, x squared minus 3x minus 7, x squared minus 3x minus 7, remainder of negative 9, remainder of negative 9. So to write my answer in this, in this form here will be x cubed minus 5x squared minus x plus 5 all over x minus 2 will equal my quotient, which I know now is x squared minus 3x minus 7 plus the remainder of negative 9 over x minus 2. Now I could write that a little differently. I could have moved the negative out front, okay? And in fact, maybe maybe I will do that just to <coughs> to illustrate that it can be done. That we can get rid of that negative, get rid of sorry, get rid of the the negative right in front of the nine, and put it out front. So now I'm just subtracting that. Either way, but that's the way they wanted the answer to look.